Hey guys, welcome back to more and let's play Final Fantasy 1. Um, in the last episode we, you know, defeated some pirates, commandeered their ship, uh, and we got to the town of Elfheim. Um, off screen I decided to do what I, you know, showed you. I killed a bunch of ogres and not only did I gain a couple levels, but I also got 2,700 gil. Um, just a little note off screen, uh, Jackie did actually bite the bullet and die. So, her experience is a little bit off from everyone, only by like a hundred, but still, you know, she should be fine. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go to the weapon shop, and we're going to, you know, talk around town. Now, we're going to pick up a dagger for the black mage, and we're going to pick up a saber. Why? Because we can. Because, screw the rules, we have money. And so, get rid of that scimitar we just got. Replace it with a, uh, saber. Uh... Jackie now has a dagger she can wield. Does a little bit better. She can pointy pointy stabby stabby everything to death. Um, actually, the number one reason why we're in Elfheim right now is because they have really good spells here. They're like level three and level four spells. Uh, what we want to do is we want to. We only have enough for two spells. Uh, so we're gonna pick up Fira for right now, for black for black magic, and we're actually gonna go all the way across the bridge here and go to the white magic shop and pick up heal which restores a little HP to the entire party which is going to be more useful than Kira for right now so we're going to pick up heal for the white magic right now and also a little uh, little secret here uh, these these uh, these little tombstones you see a gravestone you see a gravestone but if you check the first one it says here lies link which is pretty cool, a little, you know, I guess a little homage to uh, Legend of Zelda there. Um, sad to see the homage is uh, in a grave, but other than that. And as you can see, there are two black magic shops, which means that, yes, we have level 4 spells here that we cannot buy yet. The number one thing we want to get is Blizzara and Haste. Haste being number one. But uh, sadly, our intelligence has to be high enough in order to actually, you know, be able to use the spells. But we can't do that just yet. Uh, I did not check the uh, armor shop. Iron armor, copper armlets. Ooh, those could be useful. Iron shield we definitely want to pick up. Uh, leather caps we could pick up. A helmet we could pick up. But we want to pick up two leather caps. You know, a little bit more defense could go a long way. Especially when we just bump up our tanks, you know, defense to 23. So nothing can touch him ever. Uh, we're gonna... He already has a leather cap on, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna give Sam Sam and Jackie a leather cap. Uh, we're gonna sell this leather shield that we just, you know, replaced really quickly. And we're broke again. Pretty much. That's gonna be the story of the, uh, game. Uh, so, if we talk to this person, I believe they actually give us a little hint. I just don't know what we could do. Please help our prince. So, evidently something's wrong with the prince. Uh, I guess he's on his deathbed. No one knows where Astos, King of Dark Elves, has gone. Could he have something to do with uh, the prince's sickness? Our prince was meant to become Elf King, but what will happen now? I don't know, man. I don't know. I am a sage. When the time is right, the future is revealed to me. I shall wait patiently until then. This guy has extreme focus. Weapons and armor made of mithril are sturdy and powerful. You should give them a try. You'd be surprised. Well, if we can actually find a place that actually sells mithril weapons, I'll try it out. If the prince does not awaken, there will be no elf king, and we will be at the mercy of the dark elf's evil power, which is, of course, Asto. So we have to stop him. And so, uh... Whoa. Game? Why, why do I have fences on the bottom of this? Oh god, let me just exit and enter the town. Alright, there we go. Well, sorry for that graphical glitch there. I never, That never happened in my test playthrough, but okay. And let's just go to Elven Castle. Uh, can we talk to these guys? Astos curse has put our prince into a deep sleep which he cannot awake. Please, will you not accept our aid? Will you not, will you not attempt to aid our slumbering prince? And he says the exact same thing. Copycat. The Dark Elf King Astos stole stole into the castle and placed a curse on our prince. Then Astos carted away with the 
the castle's treasure. Well, that's not a cool story, bro. And this is the prince. The prince has slept under Asso's curse for five years now. There must be some medicine that rouses sleeping, but where? And ZZZ is all the uh, prince says. Let ZZ more QQ. Alright, as you can see, we can't really do nothing in Elfheim right now, but if uh, we press B and select, where we actually want to go is, I believe, I think it's right there, or right here. One of these two locations. One of these two locations are very, very important to actually go to. Um, and actually around here. But we will save that for later. But right now we want to go to one of this little area. I think it's this area right here, to be honest. I have a feeling. Actually, it's more than a feeling. It feels like it's common knowledge. <laughs> and there we see the... Uh, I forgot what sword I picked up from the saber in action. I mean, I could show off uh, Fira, but at the same time, I don't want to waste the MP. I believe it costs like 30 MP to actually use it. So, uh, Jackie will have her time to use it, though. Especially when we have something prepared coming up ahead. Fira will get a lot of use. Like right now! No, I'm just kidding. They're just a bunch of spiders. That's actually 15 MP. That's actually not that much. Let's show it off. If you don't kill everything. There's Fira. And Jackie just killed them all. With fire. She killed four spiders. She has done more than what I could ever do. I feel like a wimp. And oh no! We're ambushed by a Sang Sahagin chief and a shark while we're on our boat. Don't ask how a shark got on our boat. But he's on our boat, and he's floating in midair. I think this is uh, a shark that can think without gravity. An anti-gravity shark. Totally makes sense in the world. I kind of want one. Uh, let's do some... Do we need some healing? Yeah, let's... I could use heal, but, you know, no one else really needs the health boost. Let's see where we are. So if we just go straight up, we're good. I, I have to tell you, this map is freaking amazing in this game. It could be a lifesaver and a time saver. Alright, and as you can see, we go up here. I believe we have to follow this. Hey, a lizard. I believe he's actually uh, weak to blizzard if you wish to try. I'm just going to keep um, meleeing him to death, though. Mission accomplished. Alright, and uh, we're actually going to do a little bit of healing for uh, Jackie there. She is pretty defense weak. Uh, but, you know, we'll just pound this wolf into oblivion and uh, have some food. You know, sometimes I wish RPGs actually took the uh, hides you take from animals, you know, and actually use them. Like the snake, we can make some awesome snake skin armor or snake skin, you know, equipment. And it would probably increase our speed, but nope, we can't have that. Ah, yes, here we are. Matoya's Cave. Um, frontwards, backwards, any way you see. Such a strange spell to swish, swish, a re. Tiesel's Nutub B. Swish, swish, a -roo. And basically, you have to take what he you know says, like frontwards, backwards, any way you see. Such a strange spell to swish, 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 a re. Which means you read these the next words he says backwards, because he says frontwards to backwards any way you see it. So if we read this next sentence, it says like Tkles Natab B, it means B button select, because we're reading it backwards. Which is he's basically telling us the you know the code to actually see the map, which is pretty cool. Uh it takes some common sense to do that. And thump ouch! And Matoya. What what happened, Matoya? Hey, it looks like she's a, uh, a witch of some sorts. My eye! My eye! Eye, 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 rangers, we need your help. She's thumping around. I guess she can't see or something. I can't see a blessed thing without my crystal eye. I don't think I can see anything with a crystal eye. Who could have stolen it from me? And that's basically all we get from that. 
So we don't know who stole it, but um, yeah. And these guys all tell you the select B code. I'm just damn you, broom. Why are we in like a Mickey one Mickey's uh, Wonderland with the freaking brooms that can you know move by themselves? It must be just magic or something. Anyway, we could raid our treasure chest real quick, get potions and antidotes. I think that's pretty much all there is here, though. Yeah, so uh, we have to find the glass eye from Matoya, which is basically one of our first, you know, main quests besides saving the princess from Garland. But yep, uh, what we don't know is where do we find said crystal eye? Well, I think our leads are taking us to Astos, the Dark Elf King, who has put a curse on the, uh, you know, the Elf Prince. So maybe he has something to do with it. The problem is we don't know where he is. Uh, so we're gonna... That's something this game does really poorly and is leading you into places. You really have to, like, unless you have a strategy guide, you really have to find things for yourself. Which could be okay sometimes, but not when you're really trying to do something, like, really quick. Um, so I believe the area we want to go to is right here. Um, the Dark Elf... No, not the Dark Elf. Um, I believe, actually, the Dark Elf's in here. I don't know. Wait, nope, nope. I can't spoil it. I just realized something story epic wise happens, and I can't really. I've already, I've already said too much. It has been ruined. But uh, yeah, actually, the only place we can actually check out right now is we can't. That's Provaca. We've already been there. That's Elfheim. We've already been there. As you can see, these red, the red squares and red circles are towns. And the yellow you know, squares and white things are ports and special areas like dungeons and whatnot. The only one we can go to right now is this one that we haven't been to. So I guess we should just go to that one. I don't even know where I am on this gosh darn map. Alright, so you have to go down. Perfect. Alright, and here we are back at Elfheim. Oh, there was a port right there too. Well, darn. Anyway, so all we have to do is just travel across over here, go upwards. We're going to do some fine maneuvering. Hey, look, an ogre. I can get a free 145 gil. It sounds too good to be true. But he is dead. And I should get 140. 195 gil. Okay. Evidently, I was wrong. And we leveled up. Hooray. Except for Jackie. Because, again, she lost a little XP because she died. By my stupidity. And here we go, and we're fighting more ogres and more gigas worms. Really, I just press A through all this because I don't want to waste any MP and don't want to waste any time casting spells. Basically, that's how I roll. Um, this game, you can pretty much get by with just mashing A. Except for like required battles, like boss battles, and maybe some some enemies uh, in future dungeons that are resistant to some things. But we'll get to that when the time comes. And this ogre will not go down without a fight. He is punching the poop out of me. Although he has a club that looks very menacing. And he's dead. And Jackie leveled up. And I just saw the cutest picture of a puppy. Why Why is there a laptop next to me? I don't know. But I just saw the cutest picture of a puppy on the interwebs. Daw. Hey, look, a castle. It looks kind of run down, though. Um, maybe this is the next castle we need to go to. Maybe we could buy some spells and stuff here. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's just cast Fira because I don't feel like dealing with Ogre. Ogre 1. And we cast fire and 88 damage and it's not dead yet. Why aren't you dead? Now you're dead. Alright, and we go into this castle. Western Keep. There are bats here like in Garland's Cave. Key. Key. Interesting. I don't think we can actually investigate this area any more than we can right now. I believe we can just walk around, but other than that, there are no treasure chests that I know of. We can just walk around. 
Uh, there's one room here, but it is bound by the mystic key, which we do not have. Uh, it's so mystic that no one knows where it is. It's like a surprise. I just hope it's not like a surprise like getting close for Christmas. Sad face. Oh, hey, look, it's a king. What are you doing in this rundown castle? I was tricked by Astos, king of the Dark Elves. Now my castle has fallen into ruin. If I could retrieve the crown from the Marsh Cave, I would be able to restore my castle. Might you bring me the crown? Alright, so we picked up another quest. Um, I guess we're going to help this king out. Uh, we got to get the crown from Marsh Cave, which is all the way down here. That is Marsh Cave. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to meet you... Uh, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to meet you back in Elfheim to stock up on some stuff. But uh, until then, this has been Hesea Roxas saying see you later.